For most of us, the oceans are one of the most mysterious features of our planet. Yet for those fortunate enough to explore it, there is nothing more fascinating and beautiful than the world under the sea. For both commercial and recreational divers, the silent expanse below is like no other realm. But it can also be potentially dangerous. Just about everything we do in life has its risks, but we learn from an early age that knowledge and prevention are necessary for survival. For divers, this is especially true. First of all, I think people need to understand that scuba diving really is inherently safe. Uh, the two major issues you have to deal with are things, for example, like decompression sickness that has to do with your body absorbing gases and releasing those gases as you slowly return to the surface, and then arterial gas symbolism, which has to do with holding your breath underwater and returning to the surface, because with arterial gas symbolism, you hold your breath, those gases expand as you come back to the surface, and it could cause damage to your lungs. But again, both of those are very, very rare situations. Beginning scuba courses cover hours of safety issues, and there are basic do's and don'ts that, if practiced, will help you have safe and enjoyable dives. Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you plan your dive and dive that plan. You have to make sure that you are diving with an equally qualified and experienced buddy. Uh, make sure you're aware of all the things that go on around you during the dive. Uh, have a checklist to make sure you're not forgetting anything before you get in the water. Uh, and also do a safety stop at the end of the dive at between 15 and 20 feet for three to five minutes. But no matter how educated and prepared divers are, accidents can still happen, which is why it's so important to have the right first aid kit with you at all times. When you consider the fact that scuba diving is done out of doors, either at a dive site along the shore or on a dive boat, uh, almost anything could happen. Uh, you could actually trip and fall and skin a knee. You could uh, cut your finger on something sharp, uh, either on the surface or down below uh, on a wreck, for example. So you really do need to have a comprehensive first aid kit for dealing with almost any kind of first aid emergency. But also, most often, you're far away from uh, any kind of emergency medical services, so being fully prepared with a full first aid kit really is a great idea. Located in the heart of Southern California, Dive First Aid was built by divers for divers and was the brainchild of Matt Sieber. I started Dive First Aid because when I was getting my instructor's license, there was a point where we were instructed to go get our first aid kit. And I asked my instructor on if I could build my own. And his answer was no, because you won't be able to find the specific supplies you need for a scuba diving first aid kit. Since my family owns a medical supply company for the maritime industry, I had access to all of that stuff and therefore was able to build my own kit. By doing that, I realized that there was only one company out there supplying first aid kits to the scuba diving industry and that's where I felt there was a huge need to have healthy competition. When you consider dive first aid, uh, there are a number of things about it that are unique and probably the most significant for me is the fact that that organization, that company, uh, focuses all their expertise in one area. Uh, and they can put all of that information, all the expertise, all of the abilities they have into creating a product which is second to none. These are just a couple of the kits that we have to offer, starting out right here with our rescue diver kit. Um, it's designed for a rescue diver. It's got about 45 different items in there with broken down into uh, different categories like wound care, medications, skin prep, and instruments and appliances. It makes it very easy for the rescue diver to find the supplies they need when they need them. Moving on to our instructor level, uh, same organizational style, uh, but you get the added of additional quantities of supplies, but then you get the exchanging of some supplies, uh, for example, like bandage scissors uh, exchanged out for EMT trauma shears. You'll also notice that the uh, bags are now color-coded in our professional line, which makes it even easier for the professional rescuer to find the supplies when they need. Our last kit we have here is our Complete Care. Uh, same organizational style, same uh, color coding of bags. You get the addition of an O2 uh, tank and you get a defibrillator. The big change on this one though is that you'll see the wound care is broken out into a four-step method. Uh, step one, stop the bleeding. Step two, wash the wound. Step three, disinfect the wound. Step four, cover the wound, which makes it very easy for someone who's not a professional medical trained person to render first aid. As part of the new standard of safety, Dive First Aid not only believes you should have the emergency supplies you need, 
but the necessary training to effectively use them. The type of training that we do at Dive First Aid is to train the agencies and help them update their first aid training courses to incorporate the type of supplies and products that the divers will see in the first aid kits. So we don't actually train the divers, we train the agencies to train the divers. Proper first aid training is really essential. I mean, you can have uh, the biggest, most comprehensive first aid kit in the world, but if you don't know how to use it, uh, it's of no value or little value. And when you consider the fact that most of the diving that is done, again, is far away from uh, emergency medical services or other medical help, uh, you really need to be prepared to deal with any kind of medical emergency and first aid emergency that takes place. You could be on a boat, you could be at a remote dive site somewhere, uh, and you need to have not only those first aid supplies, but the ability to be able to use them and use them appropriately. So training is important. Uh, recent practice is essential to make sure that if something does happen, then you are prepared and qualified uh, to render aid. Everyone's first aid needs will differ with the type of emergency, number of people involved, and the time emergency personnel take to respond. As medical professionals, Dive First Aid understands. Dive First Aid, the new standard in safety. To learn more, visit DiveFirstAid.com.